Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back to the best of 2021 in lifestyle. Before we talk about the regular stuff that I bought, I want to talk about you. You. You guys, your prayers for me, your thoughts for me, your DMs to me, the things that you have bought me, all the things that have to do with the Fritzy family make the 2021 and every year really, but you know, particularly this year was really hard. Really, still is, really hard for me. And I want you to know in this video <laughs> that <laughs> you mean the world to me. Some of the stuff I just talked to you about not that long ago and other things I don't have in here. For one reason or another, I cannot show it to you, but I will try to remember to put a picture right over here when I get to something like that. And let's just kick that off with something that I don't have here. And that would be the Eufy alarm system or cameras that are on the outsides of my house. This is kind of something I think pretty much everybody has, maybe not Eufy, but a ring or something. I mean, in today's world, it's kind of a necessity, especially if you do something really stupid like shoot a package in a video that shows your home address on it. In any case, that is what put the okay for Shy Guy on getting this because he's always like, ain't nobody gonna bother us. We're gonna be just fine if they do, you know? So I researched and researched and researched and I finally decided on Eufy. The Eufy cameras, like another pretty popular name brand, uh, are something that attach and then you can remove them and bring them in the house. But unlike the other system that is their competitor, <laughs> you can't just snatch the thing off there. You have to unscrew it. Prior to my daddy passing away, they decided to get the same system I have because they liked the features and stuff that I had. So also because we are a family of Eufy cameras, I can monitor my mom's camera from my house, which is nice. It just makes us all feel better to know that if somebody approaches the house, I get notified on my watch. I can get on here and I can see what's going on. The UV cameras you put where you want on the outside of your house and then you can screw them in. So if anybody tries to take them, first of all, it's going to be a lot of work because they have to unscrew them. They can't just grab them off their magnetic button and run with them. So those cameras screwing into the base rather than just being magnetically hung up there, that was the first thing that sold me on the Eufy system. The second thing that sold me on it was I don't want to pay a cloud service every month to store the videos. The Eufy system has a base station. It sits right right to the left of Frosty there. So the base station over there, it's really nice because it has a micro SD card in it that records when it's full, I can just format it. I don't have to pay for a cloud service. However, I do want to tell you, they make this big deal, this big production about how you only have to charge the Eufy cameras once a year. And that I find is not true. Unless you're turning your cameras off all the time, but what's the purpose of having the camera if you're not going to be monitoring what's going on? I would say if you're interested in monitoring every piece of movement that goes on outside your house, oh, once every three months, maybe? You know, I'm not interested in the squirrels playing up in the trees. <laughs> not interested in that. I'm interested in whether or not anyone's coming through my windows. <laughs> the next thing is also a camera. <laughs> it's a baby monitor, but... I mean, baby monitors have come a long way. I heard about this from my daughter in Virginia, and I watch my grandkids at night. When they go to bed, you know, I can tune in for the bedtime story on the baby monitor. So I got one of these and worked it up to the window so that if you try to come in and steal the cameras, all the stuff that's in here, not only will the Yuffie's cameras go off, but that camera, yeah. That camera, I'm going to get your face. I'm going to have your face right there because you can't see that thing until it's too late. You're already there and I got you. <laughs> have I ever needed any of these things? Only once. On Halloween last year, there was a fight in the street that the cops wanted to... Yeah, but, you know, they knocked on the door and they're like, dude, can we take a look at your footage out here? Uh, but that's the only time. But I feel better that it's there. I know if I'm away from the house and a package arrives and where they put it. And, you know, so these things are, are good. And I know that almost everybody has a ring or something like that. But I thought if you want to expand out from your door, 
you know, to the rest of your house. These are great options. Okay. The next thing is this teapot. This, see, I'm using it and it's still pretty warm. It has this base that plugs in. This thing here, it boils water quickly. So I don't just use this for my tea, which nobody in the house likes but me. And I did have a teapot that went on the stove when I had my gas stove. Because that new range is a glass top, I don't know, I'm just really careful about the top of it. I don't want to scratch it. So I know me, if I had a teapot, I'd be like sliding it around. And this suits my needs really well. It also gets used to heat up water really quick so that I can put them on my sponges when I wash them. <laughs> and the reason that gets used a lot is because I can't drink caffeine. So my coffee is decaffeinated. I've been through two Keurigs. I just like this better. I think I showed you these in my last favorites. I heard about these from Mary Ellen. This, I never really knew how much I would love doing that instead of just taking my finger and doing that. But I love that these are all magnetized. I've had so many rings of measuring spoons. It's aggravating because if you use the tablespoon, then they're on a ring. So you got to wash the whole set and eventually the ring breaks and you lose one or something. And this is just perfect. If you didn't see that favorites, look at this. So each one of these has a rounded measuring side and an oblong one. So you know how you want to get down in things. Sometimes an oblong is just better. So you've got that. None of the measuring things that I have have a half tablespoon, and this one does. You're not going to lose them because they stay together. They dishwash great. I love these. I use them all during Thanksgiving. I'm going to use them today to make pie. If you saw my last favorites video, then you probably already saw this. Also, it's a stainless steel bar of soap. Let's say you've been peeling onions and you know how you'll go for days after that and you can smell the onions on your hand? Well, you can take that away really quick with this. So after you have peeled your onions, chopped them up or whatever, all you gotta do is take this, wash your hands like you would a real bar of soap. It's miraculous. <laughs> do it for the novelty, okay? Because it doesn't cost, I think it's like four or five bucks. And you just do that and now the onion smell is all gone from your hands. Amazon Fire Sticks. I have two now. Guys, this is like $39 and I have every option I had on my Apple TV that was a couple hundred dollars and more. And it comes with its own remote and you can talk to the remote and it's just better than all the Apple TVs that I had. They got old. I no longer have the job that I had when I bought them that, I mean, I used to make pretty good money and I don't have that job anymore. So the days of just replacing computers and tech things that I want on a whim, those days are gone. <laughs> and I was kind of afraid to take a gamble. My friend Mary Ellen after 60 is who told me about the fire stick and I'm like, yeah, but I've got a lot of money in my Apple stuff and I'm afraid I'm going to lose all my Apple movies and all this. No, you don't. No, you don't. You can bring it right in on the fire stick and it's so easy. So easy. You don't have to be a techie person at all to set this up. Your favorite thing is going to be that fire stick. And the only way you're probably not going to agree with me on this is if you have an actual smart television. The next thing I really truly love are my refer modules that thank you again, Stephanie, for sending me yours because with hers and mine, I now have these expanded all across in front of me and it holds all of the makeup that I am currently using right there in front of me. And also in 2021, I purchased not the Alex, okay? I got these off of Amazon. I really didn't want to get the Alex drawers, but in any case, I got this seven drawer. Maybe I'll take a picture of it so that you can see it, what, what it actually looks like sitting right there next to me to hold all my makeup and that freed up six drawers on this desk that I use for eyeshadow. So to answer the people who have been getting my decluttered makeup, this just came up recently. They're like, so you got any decluttered stuff? You haven't done a declutter in a while, you know? And, and the reason is because of that. I've got a lot more storage now. <laughs> so it, yeah, that's why. So if you're looking for something that stores a good amount of makeup, craft stuff, whatever, is on wheels, and I, I really love this okay, thing. So right behind me, right there, 
on a tower right there is a router. It actually looks like a spaceship. This is a gamer's router. Okay, so my son purchased this and I told Shy Guy, we're in trouble, okay, when he does take that. It really has solved a lot of problems in this house that we were having, mostly because he's a gamer. And, you know, I just had no idea that the router we had was not that great. Some people might not need to get this extreme, but if you have a gamer in your household and a YouTuber in your household and you guys are constantly uploading bandwidth, all the, oh my gosh, all the stuff that's going on, this thing, fantastic. And let me tell you for the business people also, this is a fantastic way for you to secure your network. And you know, if you have a business and you run it out of your house and you take credit cards, that's something you absolutely have to do. And now my son never gets upset because he is getting kicked out of his games because everything's too slow. So I just wanna give that a mention for households where you have people who live in your household or maybe you play a lot of games. This is a gaming router and it will take care of, guaranteed, every need you have in your house. This mic was actually purchased with money that was sent to me from you, from you guys. That PayPal link that is below, in case you've ever wondered about it and went, oh my gosh, I can't believe how greedy she is. Well, any money that comes to me from that goes right back into the channel. It buys the lights, the camera, the microphone. That's where this stuff came from. So again, thank you so much. This mic has been such a big improvement over the old mic that I had prior to it. That was just a $25 mic and it did okay, all right? But I would always have to, once I got the video into the computer, tweak the sound, do all these things to it to get it loud enough so you know that you could hear it. Now this mic has the opposite problem. It picks up everything. I mean, I promise you, if my son went in there and went to the bathroom in the other room, okay, and he flushed that toilet, it, we'd get it right here. <laughs> the electronic background noise that I get from the computer is unreal. And that hard drive, there's this underlying sound in the video that goes, I mean, it just makes this, I can't even do it. And you guys are so gracious. You say, Mary, we don't care about the sound in the background and stuff. I know. I know you don't. People will put up with a sub quality video in the video part of it before they will sound. And I'm actually the same way. If I go to a video and the sound is awful, I will leave. So it's important to me that the sound sounds good. And that's this mic. I prefer to have the microphone right here in front of me, but it can go above. It automatically comes on with the camera. Of course, I tend to push it off to the side when I'm not filming. So I have to remember to bring it in front of me. And sometimes I still don't. This microphone is aces. The I think it's called Avani. It's a bed system. It's a memory foam bed system. It's got like four, I think it's four. One, two, three, four different sizes and shapes of cushions that all can be put together to fit your needs. And Mel had one of these. That's how I heard about it. And at the time, I wasn't able to sit in the chair. And I was telling her one day, what am I gonna do? when I can't sit in the chair and edit anymore because I can no longer do what I used to do, which was my daddy made this system for me that would allow me to lay flat on my back and it suspended the computer above me so that I could just lay flat on my back and, and type and take care of what I needed to do. But back then that was just typing. That wasn't like editing. Editing uses a whole different set of muscle group. <laughs> anyway, what you're doing is totally different when you're editing in bed. So I kind of need to sit up, all right? But not like I'm sitting in a chair. And Mel said, well, just get this. And she showed me. She said, this is how I do it. And she had a lot of knee pain. And when you're sitting a lot, you will, you know, it hurts your knees to bend them in the chair. And if you're me, you're still sitting on one leg. So you need to quit doing that. But in any case, she would film her videos, then she would go to bed and edit them on her laptop in this system. I love it. I can take it to the couch if I wanna work out there. I can move it to my bed if I wanna work in there. And on days where I am gonna work on the laptop, this is how I'm doing it with this system here. Well, it would also be great for people who can't lay flat in a bed. I'm specifically talking about people who 
uh, are sleeping in recliners because they can't lay flat. So just putting that out there, this thing, I love it. It is kind of a pain in the butt though, if you're wanting to make your bed or whatever and company's coming over or whatever and you're like, what do I do with this? Because <laughs> my closet is not big enough for all the stuff I have and that too. But yeah, I'm just like beyond caring at this point what people think. I, the last thing I can't show you is my mom's slippers. These are by Muckluck. And we finally decided on these slippers. My mom wanted a pair of slippers that were easy for her to put on and off, that she could walk around the house in without tripping, and she wanted them for Christmas. And this was a dilemma for us. I mean, I wanted her to have them immediately. So I'm like, I'm taking care of this now. You need to have this now because I don't want her tripping and stuff. So the first thing was she liked these Ugg slippers, the ones that are fuzzy, have an open toe and the sling on the back. But she was like, you are forbidden for buying those slippers because they cost too much money. And I'm like, but mom, she's like, I don't want to hear it. So we went looking for slippers that were like that, but didn't cost that. And the first pair that we got were Jessica Simpson ones. Uh, these are excellent if you don't have a wide foot. These fit me perfect. I thought they felt wonderful. And that's how I knew they weren't going to work for mom. Okay, but I took them over there anyway. And she thought they were really pretty and they're fuzzy and they're pink and and they feel you know really really soft but I'm bringing it up to you to let you know that these slippers run one size too small if you want to get these or we found anyway that you really kind of needed to go up a little bit higher than what you would wear the next pair I found at Kohl's. Now these are made by Ugg, but they're not the expensive ones and I talked her into it and they came and it was the same deal love those slippers I want a pair of these slippers. Thought I'd bring them up. I thought it was interesting the way they kind of curved up at the toe area and had the grippers on the bottom so that you wouldn't fall. These feel soft and wonderful on your feet, but likewise, like I said, they fit me. So I knew they weren't gonna fit her. Took them over there anyway. In case she wanted to size up. She said no, she would look for something. So she did and she come up with these Mucklux. These fit the bill for her perfectly. They're soft, not in the same way the other two are, but they have a Velcro closure. So if your foot is bigger, thicker, wider, then you can take care of that <laughs> with the Velcro closure. They have a rubbery hard sole on the bottom. She doesn't trip in them. These fit the bill in every department. They are inexpensive. So you could have a pair in every color if you wanted. They run true to size. She loves them. So there you go. Always and forever hunting phone cases that I love. And I don't want to spend a ton on a new phone case because I am going to be getting a new phone eventually. And it always works out like that. It always works out that I buy phone cases and then get a new phone and here's all these cases. So I wanted something that was relatively inexpensive, was easy to pop on and off, but I really wanted something on the back, but nothing that would be like a pop socket or one of those little rings that catches on things. I don't need a kickstand ability. I just need a way to hang on to it so that I don't drop it. And with this system, I can put my whole hand in here or I can do one finger in here. So these are called switch bands. Now this is just a black plastic case. The thing I'm concerned about with me is this. I need a really good glass protector on the front of this so that, because I drop this all the time. And so I'm not concerned about this being big bulky Defender Auto Box or anything like that. I'd still wanna be able to put it in my back pocket. I got the black one so that any band I got with it works. All you do is pop the phone out of the case and then you have these bands that fit through these two holes here and you can set how tight you want it to be and it Velcros. Okay, so there you go. I do have to give it to the brand Switch Bands. When I ordered, I ordered the Marilyn Monroe and the Audrey Hepburn, and they threw in two others for free. Just a, you know, a nice customer service thing to do. You just pop your phone right back in there. There you go, and now I can hold on to my phone. Since we're talking about phone things, you know how your cable eventually goes to pot? All right, look how long this is. I wanted a phone charger that 
fit a couple of bills. I wanted it to be really long. This is really long. <laughs> this is inexpensive and it comes with two. So you got these things on the end to prevent the thing that happened with the other. Okay, which is bending it too much and then it just stops working. The cord has got this cloth covering on it. It is super long. So even if I want to stretch over to the treadmill and watch my phone while it's charging, because you know videos really make the battery go down, right? This stays plugged in beside my bed and at night I plug this into my phone and then I can lay in there, roll over. It doesn't matter if I go all the way to one side of the bed or not, this thing will reach. And I love that about it. It's really great. Works with my iPhone, which is a 7 Plus, or if you have this end, then I don't have one of those in my purse. I have a normal size one <laughs> in my purse. To go with this, look at that jumping around. I bought this this year. I'm going to cover that up, but basically it tells you, it says 80%. It tells you how much is left on the charge. And if it doesn't say anything, you just shake it and it will tell you it's at 80%. It doesn't weigh hardly anything, holds a charge for a long time. I bought it to replace my Mophie. This isn't as expensive as a Mophie. I swear this thing's quicker at charging my phone than the outlet on the wall. <laughs> but yes, sir, I bought this for my mom. She asked for one um, and I got one for her and she loved it and I loved it and didn't want to give it up. So I got one for me too. I think this looks dang good for living in my shower. You guys see all the time in the empties, the stuff that lives in my shower, how it's all coated with ugh, yucky, gross, hard water stains and yet, <laughs> my water flosser by Burst is not. Now this was sent to me by Joanne of the Fritzy family and I'm going to link and put her code and stuff below in case you want to give her some love and purchase either a Burst uh, ultrasonic toothbrush or this. But yeah, I love my ultrasonic toothbrush, but I love this more than, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is particularly important to me because I've developed a nasty habit in 2021 of eating popcorn every night. Immediately following that, I have all this crap in my teeth that, you know, I'm very paranoid about. You just fill this thing up here and then close that off. This is the charging cable goes in that. Press the button and go. All the popcorn goes down in the sink and I watch it. I'm so fascinated. You know how some people have a fascination with watching like people pop pimples? and getting all that gunk out. Okay, well, I have a fascination every night with, it's weird, I know, watching the popcorn and food come out of my teeth <laughs> with my flosser. I really like this. And if you get one, you're gonna be helping her, not me, okay? So not telling you that so that you will go buy this and I'll get a commission. I don't get a commission off this. But you can save some money and help out a fellow Fritzy family member if you use the link below. You can tell by looking at this, because it's still got water on it, <laughs> that I emptied these out just for you. Remember those awful metal ice trays that you had to run hot water on and bring the little arm thing up to separate them and get them out and you got in trouble every night when your dad came home because you didn't have air conditioning and he was hot from working out in the summer and he just wanted some ice in his drink, but there's no ice because you didn't want to fill them up. <laughs> All right, well, these aren't those. These are made of silicone. You fill these up, they freeze the ice. All you do then is push. You just turn it upside down. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this over it because I'm tired of dripping water on me now. <laughs> you just put this over it and push down and the ice pops out so easy. Fill it back up and go again. I got them because our ice maker stopped working. And this is the second time that my husband has put in a new ice maker in that refrigerator. I'm like, forget it. I have an ice maker that I use that makes edible ice. <laughs> we just need ice that goes in drinks. So just let me get some ice trays. I highly recommend these. Give my stamp of approval along with Bob Vila. Yeah, I don't know what Bob Vila knows about ice cubes, but there you go. Now I want to show you my spin mop. You need this. If you don't have this, you need this. And normally I don't buy into this, all this advertising stuff because half the time it doesn't do what they say it does. And, you know, I'd just rather get my info from like one of my YouTuber friends <laughs> or you guys or whatever, you know. Real people using real stuff. Totally bought into this. Hook, line, and sinker. Love 
it. This thing is awesome. Uh, I do want to tell you, if you do get it, make sure that when you put the mop head thing on that you press all three corners. <laughs> Otherwise, you might stick the mop in there and then it'll like make a big mess when it falls off onto the floor because only one corner was latched. <laughs> you don't just push it in the middle and think, oh, I got it. I heard a click. <laughs> It's got your microfiber mop head and it's triangular shaped so it gets into the corners really easily. You can wash the head in the washer, but I love the bucket. The bucket, you dip that mop down in that water and then you can put it in the spin thing. This is why it's called the spin mop. <laughs> you put the mop in the spin thing and then you just take your foot and pump it the amount of water you want out of it. And then you go to town. You take it off there and you wash it and it's just really great. Best mop I ever had. Now you've probably been wondering what my arms are on, haven't you? You're like, what are you doing? Why'd you got your arms on? A box. It's my flyby. Do you guys remember seeing this through the year? There's just some times when you need a deep tissue massage. You don't want to go and you don't want to pay, <laughs> and your husband just will not take his elbow and dig it into your back. I feel guilty asking him to do that the older we get because he is developing arthritis too in his joints. It hurts him to take his thumbs and dig into my muscles. It hurts him to take his elbow, which is my favorite. I want him to take his elbow and just dig, and I mean dig deep. And if that's your situation, then a deep tissue massage power gun, whatever you call this, that's going to be your best friend. It comes with an AC adapter so you can recharge it. So you got a round one and a smaller round one. You can't see that because it's black. Okay, there we go. I have scoliosis at a 36 degree angle, so this doesn't work. It doesn't ever get used on me, but my son, he did this one day and he bought his own. So we both have this gun. So this works on him. It goes on either side of your spine and works those muscles. But you know, if your spine's all crooked, <laughs> that doesn't work so well. This one here is one of my favorites. I mean, talk about digging deep and it just, oh. Let me show you and I'll put it on my arm muscle so that you can see it going. All right, so here it goes. That's speed one, speed two, speed three. Not only can I do my neck and shoulder muscles myself, but I can also like turn it upside down and get my own back like that. Oh, that feels so good. So absolutely, 100%, I recommend the flyby gun. Okay, speaking of guns, and this is my last thing. Uh, so if you don't want to hear about that, <laughs> then just go to the end. <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. But some of us here love to go to the range. Until I got these, I was just using like the leaf blower <laughs> earmuffs, which were okay, you know, or, you know, earplugs that you put in, which, you know, they're okay. But these here, wow, I did not know what I was missing. You need to not blast your hearing out any more than it already is. I mean, mine's pretty well gone <laughs> from all the years, I guess, of listening to music too loud with another kind of headset on, but this here is really great. You put a couple of batteries in here, you turn this on, you can put it to the level you want. And what it does is it amplifies, kind of like a hearing aid, the people's voices, but any loud noises within a certain range of decibels, yes, you still hear it, but it's not loud at all. And it lets you hear when the guy is saying to get back, <laughs> get off the line. <laughs> It's not time for you to be there yet, okay? You can hear Shy Guy saying, I think that we've fired enough and we need to go, <laughs> you know? So, love these. If you guys love going to the range and you don't have any walkers, razors yet, I think these are awesome. And this little thing right here totally makes my husband think I had got it going on. So this actually fits over the clip and it lets you load, all right? And even with nails, long nails. When I used this, Shy Guy was like, how did you do that? I mean, I beat him loading my magazine with this little doodad, and he didn't know how I was doing it. All you ladies who get acrylic nails, you know that when you get about three, four weeks of growth, there and they're long, there's nothing to keep it from 
busting off. So I was scared the day that we went, me and Shy Guy and my BFF from high school, we went and I loaded with this in no time flat and never broke a nail. So these little thingies here, I don't know what they're called, but I'll link them below in case you're interested. All you do is just push down load, push down load, push down load, and you're done. Finally, Shy Guy was like, how are you loading so quickly? And I showed him, I was like, <laughs> he's like, I need some of those. So not just for girls, but I got mine in pink, so he'd leave it alone. <laughs> and that's it for this year. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Leave me some of your favorites below. And yeah, I hope you always know you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not having a blessed day, just go be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. Here's my little teapot, short and stout. It's actually not, is it? But here is my handle and here is my spout. And when you tip me over, hot water burns your lap. Then you will start screaming and go, oh crap. And, oh. <laughs> what the heck, what the heck, what the frosty, the snowman has his carrot up Santa's butt. They were, not anyway, never mind. The computer that is sitting right here next to me, that always makes this, look at my lips. She did, and she come up with these mucklucks. Mucklucks, mucklucks. Look at them shiny nails. Woo it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas on our fingernails. La 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 There's no place like home. There's no place like home. You can lasso, you know, playing games with your husband. Come here, baby, I'm gonna lasso you, and then you are gonna do whatever I want. Love these, highly recommend them, and so does Bob Ross. No, not Bob Ross. One more thing from the kitchen, and then I'm going to introduce you to my vibrator gun that is used on your back. Love gun, love gun. Gene, check me out, okay? Love gun, you got the thought. Oops, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me, okay? Yeah, Kathy, get your mind out of the gutter.